look at that big old lemon but he can hug me now look at this it's rare that you find them in that condition can you feel it yeah let's take a look at this beautiful bird congratulations that was a great jump a wonderful jump <laughs> we have five eggs today you shouldn't even be here you dingus it's cold it's about drive it's about power sussy uncle ben cuts trees down for a wildlife rescue <laughs> good morning everybody as you can see the baby is trying to play with pogger's tail oh oh, oh that's fun kevin and karen are hanging out with little queen here and queen's been chasing around she just sat and watched the duck for an hour today very very big surprise for you guys matter of fact biggest surprise you've ever seen in your life you've never seen a bigger surprise ever i think the chick got outside of there yeah the chick is stuck outside and is trying to get back in i'm gonna have to go save it but first look at that big old lemon butter kevin Mm, that boy's scrumptious. But like I said, you guys, I have a very big surprise today. Perhaps the biggest surprise. Ooh, a little poop there. No, don't lick that. Dang it. Perhaps the very biggest surprise in the history of the Urban Rescue Ranch. Ever heard of it? Ever heard of this little man here? His name's DeBaby. He's handsome and he's cute. I like to shake his hand. Oh, hey, Kevin. How are you today, sir? There's a lot going on today. There's a lot going on. Hey, Kevin will just like a little head pat from me because he's my handsome little man. Look at that beautiful sun rising. And it's not a crazy, terrible, windy day today. I can just get on Kevin and ride him. These aren't my boxers. These are shorts. They have pockets. Back up. Back up, Kevin. Back up. <clears throat> Back up. His nest is doing really well, as you can see. We have five eggs today and a young baby man who I think wants to spar. Do you want to spar, sir? Oh, no, he just wants to run. But today isn't, oh, did you see him jump over that bench? Very proud of you, sir. Congratulations. That was a great jump. A wonderful jump. Wonderful jump. Poggers. Hello, sir. So the animals really like having a lot more open space, if you couldn't tell. It's really cold, so I'm going to try my best to keep the chick in there. And I think I hear it. I hear a little cheeping over here. You guys remember when this thing was just this crappy old barn that was just on the property, and then we painted it, and it just looks brand new? This was the first thing I ever fixed up, you guys. My first little project. Actually, that's not true. True. If you look back at the old Urban Rescue Ranch lore, you can see that there's actually this huge area. Hey, Kevin, how are you today? <laughs> there was actually this huge area behind our uh, old apartment that we were staying at. It was a duplex. And I asked my landlady, I said, hey, what's going on with this back area behind the property? And then I said, is this yours? And she was like, yeah, that's mine. And I was like, could I put chickens there? She was like, oh, you can do whatever you want with it. I don't care. Because it was just a dump. There were there were little bits of uh, little bits of trash there, like mattresses box spring and then just a ton of old fencing that had just fallen back there it's funny if you look back at my old videos there's this this back area that i that i fixed the fencing for and behind it was just this massive apartment complex so naturally when she said oh yeah you can do whatever you want there i looked into the laws and i found out legally because of the distance from that back area to all the other surrounding buildings i could have pigs so I found a bunch of pigs on Craigslist. I took really good care of them and I treated them like pets. I'd bring them inside some of the times and I let them outside half the time. And the next thing you know, uh, they were my little babies. And then I rehomed them to people as pets. So they were worth more and they were friendlier and they got to live better lives. There's our little chick. I knew it. This is why they're freaking out. You shouldn't even be here, you dingus. It's cold. Okay, time to get back under your mom. Get back here. Okay, come on. Go take care of your baby. There she goes, right back to him. And those are happy chick noises. Do you hear that? Oh. And this entire flock always raising that one chick. I've never seen this happen before. Normally, just one of the mothers will do it, and the other mothers will pick on them. Or the, at least the rooster will pick on them. But um, it's pretty amazing. I think this is our OG Bertha. Look at this little adorable little waddle that she has. And look at her adorable little face and her adorable little beak. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, the baby's in a crazy mood today. He's hopping around like crazy. He's enjoying this cool weather. Went down to the 50s last night. Crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a bunch of this stuff in here. I'm afraid that if that chick gets to run around like this today, then he's just gonna end up dying from the cold. Ducks are good on food, at least for a couple days. They are so precious. Not only are they precious, but they're very, very happy in here. Water could be dumped, but uh, I'll wait another day or two for that. Little queen over here and the baby would just sit here and lay down and they would just sit right there and just watch these ducks swim around all morning. It was the cutest thing ever. And these ducks are so much friendlier now 
Normally they wouldn't like me sitting here watching them, but now they don't really seem to care at all. But today I want to show you guys what's new in Waco. So I'm going to show you guys the update. And then uh, next thing you know, I'm going to come back here and then we're going to get right back on giving these ducks peas. And I really want these ducks to get to a point where they're eating out of my hand. Go ahead. Go ahead, the baby. Give me a hug. Give me a hug, the baby. Give me a hug. Look at this man. In the wide angle lens so you guys can see what I'm working with here. This is my little man. He can hug me now. Look at the... <laughs> He bit me. He gave me a little bite. <laughs> and you know, coming back here, it hasn't just been all vacation 100%. Just getting to stay back here and enjoy this place has been really nice and refreshing. One other thing I'll say before I head out is that I think that I'm learning to love working. I think that uh, sometimes it gets kind of stressful and you get kind of burnt out if you make content so much or work on the house or if I go to Waco so much, I drive up there and back. It costs me like $80 now because of gas prices to drive to Waco and back. I try to not do it as often as I can, but I have such a big surprise that I really want to show you guys that today. And I'm going to be bringing all the kennels and everything else that we had here in the backyard. I right, left these guys with plenty of food. They will gladly protect this place. Queen will bark like crazy at anyone that walks by or even gets close to the gate. It's amazing. She's a better guardian dog than poggers already. I just have to kiss her right on her adorable little forehead. All right, time to go. It's about drive, it's about power. We stay hungry, we devour. Put in the work, put in the hours. And take what's ours. This is why I couldn't bring the dogs today. Here we are guys, the Big Apple. The city that never sleeps, here it is. Hashtag keep Austin weird. <laughs> it's well worth the traffic. This is about that time when my oil starts to get perpetually low, even though I have no leaks. And the guys at Jiffy Lube, one of them uh, knew me from the show. He watches the old Urban Rescue Ranch, the TV show. They said that this bus was too big, even though I've been at that location multiple times. All right, we're here, guys. This is the surprise. So things are a little bit different from when we were last here. For starters, we no longer have trees here because we can't get this house insured with these trees here. This one was literally leaning towards the house. But look at this beautiful baby boy. We can use all these stumps as seats and good firewood. This one was literally rotting. It was about to fall down. Apparently, we didn't even need to cut it. They literally just pushed it over. Feel it in your hands. Well, it can't hurt it's you. It's like just a larva. Pain. What do you think this turns it's gonna into? It's going to turn into a moth, probably. It'll be a big moth, man. Yeah. We yeah. should, that's we should. Cocoon. That's incredible. It's rare that you find them in that condition. Can you feel it? Yeah. Man, this is very, very weird. All right, everybody, take a good long look. This is the Urban Rescue Ranch. There is now a huge wide open hole here where there used to be uh, a big shed and another shed right here. And there's a concrete pad right here, apparently. I think I'm gonna use this sheet metal to kind of just block this in. We're probably gonna drill a hole down here and then go ahead and just continue the fencing here. And we have a ton of leftover pipes. And while I don't think I can legally have a bunch of uh, little animals here, I know that I can definitely have a garden right there. So this could all be nice garden beds or something like that. Shut up! A lot of you guys have been asking me how Bing Bong is. This is Bing Bong over here. Bing Bong's doing really well. Looking real silly as usual. Darth Vader just screams all the time. And while it's kind of annoying that he just yells nonstop, what's really nice is that he only yells when a person is nearby. So what's sweet about that is I will never get robbed. I will know immediately if someone's creeping onto the property. Pretty soon we're gonna go ahead and move the trailer over to the front by the house. It'll be nice. And then I'm gonna get a carport to put over top of it. But all right, everybody, here's the big surprise. This is the new back part of the property. As you can see, we have one large mesquite tree here, which is pretty cool that we were able to save this. And this tree is getting strangled by some wire. So I'm gonna cut this loose. And as you can see, it's rotting in here. And before you all get triggered that we cut all these trees down, and no, we didn't cut the cedars, but we did cut them about from six feet down. And before you all complain about us deforesting the land, oh, monarch butterfly, monarch butterfly, get over here, get over here. Get over here. No. Or some other ballyhoo that you always talk about in the YouTube comments that makes no sense. All these trees were either dying or trash trees. They're hackberries. They're not worth anything. Not worth anything to me. Not worth anything to the animals that live here, okay? There is one crow nest maybe that's up there and then another one right there. These animals don't care about these trees. They provide minimal shelter and shade. Whenever the winter comes, they lose all their leaves. And while I didn't really plan on getting rid of all of these trees, the reason why they did end up getting rid of them is because they were so weak and rotted. Now we're gonna have to get some permit with the city or some hoo-ha to be able to burn all this stuff, but at least things are finally progressing. Now we really can't extend 
extend the fence from there. Look at, look at Kyle. And then we can extend the fence from there all the way to the back here. Oh, here's some real nice mesquite wood, guys. Look at that. This is all gonna be so good for smoking up some meats with Mark Zuckerberg later. And before you complain again about, oh, Uncle Ben, you cut all those trees down. You just destroyed the land. Sussy Uncle Ben cuts trees down for a wildlife rescue? <laughs> Seems a little counterintuitive, don't you think? No, because we'll be planting live oaks. Live oaks are a wonderful little tree that's native to Texas that is green year round. Now, I didn't really think we had any, but what's funny is I was just looking right up here. This is one of them. Yeparino, this is a live oak already, or some kind of hybrid of a live oak. It doesn't really matter. So this thing is green year round. It provides nice shade year round. We also have this nice pecan. Also look at this guys. This is a really good fencing that's just gonna be here for forever. So I'm just gonna try and keep it. And this whole little fenced in area is still nice and good. I believe. So my plan is to start fencing in four feet across from this fencing. And then we're going to have four feet of no man's land. With that, I'm going to probably every now and then release a couple goats in the back here so they can trim everything. So I don't have to get back here with a push mower. And I'm thinking we just keep the fence continuous with this. It's going to be some good old eight foot fencing. I'm probably going to end up actually using the horse fencing instead. We're going to have that go around this entire area. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and measure and see how many holes we need to put in the ground and how long it needs to be because we're going to be doing this ourselves i couldn't find anyone to help me do it that uh, that isn't a friend so we're going to be going at it again this time we're going to try to do it a little bit better than we did the fencing over there but i'm going to have live oaks all over the place here and it's going to be beautiful you'll see it's going to be beautiful might even plant some pecans or a peach tree maybe an apple tree maybe even an orange tree if we're not going to have another terrible freeze again for a while or a meyer lemon yeah guys take a look at this beautiful bird and as soon as we're done with this fencing i'm going to bring kevin and karen out here and the baby and everybody's just going to frolic around and enjoy their life the baby specifically is just going to love this heck we could even start hoarding cattle and instead of urban rescue ranch we can call ourselves the cattle hoarding ranch we can just start hoarding cows dairy cows beef cows brahmin cows angus cows <laughs> jersey heifers this is me on the neighbor's property because they don't have any signs that say i can't be here as soon as the winter comes i'm going to start exploring back here and seeing what they got these are all younger trees probably about 15 20 years old tops so this all used to be a few not that long ago also can you notice that it's not as windy anymore because i'm in the wood and although i don't necessarily own this property there's no signs and it's been abandoned for years so uh, we can go back in here and look for little wild hogs and all kinds of other little creatures we got a nice cedar forest back here come winter time there won't even be any mosquitoes or spidey man i can't wait all right but the best is yet to come here at the urban rescue ranch i love you guys i appreciate you and i'll see you in the next video <laughs> oh almost forgot to tell you